Alright, thanks for checking out our channel here. This is going to be possibly a how-to repair video on a older style Gallagher. They call it MBX 2500, uh, 25 stored jewel unit. This is a uh, an adaptive control adaptive control unit. They call it, it means it it adapts its output based on the load it feels hooked up to it. So we're going to go through and see if we can get this one going for them. This is a pretty expensive unit uh, to buy. Uh, this was about a $1,500 unit back in its day. When they're selling it, came with a remote control with it when they sold it back, back however many years ago it was. Um, they don't make this model anymore, but they do a um, uh, handful of parts still made for them. Some parts are discontinued, but a handful of parts are still supplied for it. Um, the note says, because this adapts its output as it feels a load hooked up to it. And the jewels is where you see it adapt at mostly. And just standing, sitting on its own, it usually sits between five and eight joules, and it's just sitting by itself, just pulsing along. It's about five to eight joules, and as the load increases that it feels hooked up to, this will gradually climb up and will max out at eight at 25 joules. Well, what this one's doing is when you plug it in, and it's just sitting here by itself, not hooked up to anything, it will gradually climb up to 25 joules, and the alarm goes off, and its output voltage is low so something inside is loaded down so we'll go ahead and we'll plug it in we'll show you the the um show you it um, adapting itself up and everything let me plug it in here hopefully the glare is not too bad we'll be able to see it so you can see the top number there's it's climbing up see it's 13 15 20, 23, see there's the alarm, output alarm, zero volts, so it's got a an internal short, because by itself not hooked up to anything, turn it off, turn it back on, see, it's on zero, zero there, so it should be like seven or eight or nine, is what should be reading right there, so something wrong inside, that's dragging it down. I'm not sure what's causing that. So either something shorted across the hot in the ground inside. I started to take this apart before I started making the video, but I didn't get very far. I was like, you know, I'll make a video on this one. So we're going to, this is about deep as I got into it. So the two terminals that are your hot and ground on, this has got four terminals. It has a black and a blue for your fence alarm and ground, ground alarm ground reference fence reference voltage terminals are these two then your normal ground and hot terminals for your fence and ground are these two and it goes right across here so something so maybe the transformer's got an internal short in the thing because it that's what spikes your voltage up and if there's an internal short in there that'll drag itself down and cause issues um we'll pop this board out of here real quick just see if we see anything going on with it now there's this. Someone put this. Uh, that's that little rubbery thing on there. It was arcing across there. You can see kind of the terminals were kind of burnt up there. So it's they put that on there to try to keep it from arcing. So that was a kind of a band-aid fix. But but what we'll do is we'll um, widen the gap a little bit, and we'll also clean that off a little bit too best we can so either the transformer's got a problem or something in a lightning protection circuit right here has got a problem because that's what all this stuff is for this is for lightning protection on the output side so let's um let's first try to transformer first It's gotten hot or something's been arcing on it. It's got a has some like a coating right here. And this board's been changed at one point in time because it's a 2007 model, but the board's a 2018, so the board's been changed at some point in time. Let's um, grab a transformer real quick. Okay, I've got a transformer here. This is not. It's physically the right size for put in there, but it's, it's not the right transformer. But 
it will physically work for testing wise if I need to get a transformer for it I'll just have to order one in so we're going to plug this transformer in it goes in a certain way this is probably the original style because the old, older ones it's even got a crack in it right there running across so this probably got hit by lightning this little area here that's the old style or this is the new style they've got like a spark gap created in there for fencing ground for the for lightning to jump across but see when it went through there and hit that thing at some point in time it probably hit the transfer and that's what this big cracks from so that transfer even if it wasn't loaded down and shortened thing out it needs to be replaced so let's take this board lift it back up move that out of the way take this ribbon cord cable thing here and plug it into the board right there because the good thing is thing's still trying to work still pulsing and trying to do its thing here so we'll uh, push the board into little slots right there Have this case it's got that little circuit board here we got to plug this ribbon cable thing back into it it won't run right without it this is your this is a dual powered 12 volt unit as well and that's what this cable is for but this transformer it's made for the same size unit um, just the non fancy version so um, we'll see what this puts out the voltage wise it shows good up here uh, you know six seven eight thousand volts uh, then we'll probably just leave it in there because it is physically gonna work and uh, see it's only putting out put a more voltage but you can see it's still climbing up joule wise we're up to 21 joules at 3.6 kV so it's still it's working better than what it was but it should not be climbing 25 joules and it should be higher than that well at 25 joules it's going to be um, uh, that low but when it was it should have started off like at 7 dropped and then climbed back up but, but something's still not right with it something still loaded down inside there so it's probably probably something to do with these things right here and I don't know what size those are Probably, I probably got some that will work though. These a similar number. Let me look at the number on it. Color doesn't really matter as long as the number because some are red, some are orange, some are blue. But the Think these will work so what I'll probably do I'll probably desolder all of these pull them off and put new ones on but I might go ahead and test these two resistors here see what um, number it is It's like a 150k ohm resistor so let's test those two resistors there and see what it reads if they read shorted then really low ohms and we know that might be a problem you know, 141 141 so resistors are fine 
we can test a few, like we can test these dials, make sure they're not shorted. That's fine. That's good. And all the dials are good. So I imagine it has something to do with these right here. Because it is on to put power out. But the... Um, uh, but something's loading it down. It's probably these things right here. So that's what I'll do. I'll uh, go through and uh, change all these out and retry it. Uh, if that doesn't fix it, you know, there's more wrong than I can probably figure out with it. It's got a lot of a lot of um, fancy stuff with it because it is a adaptive control unit. They got a lot of sensors on it and stuff like that that do different things. And I'm not a wizard at this uh, electronics. So I can do some things with it because that's what we what we do, but uh, some of these bigger, fancier ones, you you know, unless you know, unless you got a schematic for which I don't, you're kind of um, at a guessing game for it. So, I mean, even this could be shorted out, possibly this um, coil right there, or maybe one of these coils is shorted, I don't know. And then the big capacitors are swelled up, so those are probably fine. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to change out all these, plug it back in, and try it out. So if that works, great. Not worth the um, find another board for him, and then with the just start from scratch again. But anyways, uh, that's it for this video. But if you got one of these old Gallagher units like this, those big fancy ones like this, or any other brand or model, happy to help you out. Welcome to send something into us. We take a look at it for you. We give uh, free quotes and uh, 18 month warranties on the repairs that we do. Until next time, see you later.